Hey guys, it's Brad the Buff. I got my buff in my head and I'm ready to go. I'm coming in, it's raining outside. I'm coming in from my new equipment area. I put all these uh, these drawers together to store all my uh, camping equipment, so I've been working on that. But I have shot a video on how to get yourself prepared physically for the trips that you may have coming up. I get a lot of questions about what I do to get my body ready. So I'm gonna show you the exercises that I most commonly do to get ready for a trip and do some voiceover to explain what I'm doing. So let's get right at it. For a warm up, I like to start with a classic 10 minute intense rowing machine session. If you wanna do something longer to build stamina, a 20 minute session is also appropriate. The exercise that I believe is the most beneficial for hiking is going to be overhead walking lunges. This is going to help strengthen your legs and your lower back, give you some support. When you do this, the main thing is to focus not on the amount of weight that you have, but on getting really deep into your lunge. The areas that typically get the most sorest are the areas that you don't work at all and that tends to be the outside of my glutes and the tops of my hamstrings a good alternative to using a, a barbell overhead is just going to be to take a plate or a ball and walk with it keeping my hips loose is also very important and to work on this i'm going to do some wall balls just taking a ball throwing it up against the wall catching it getting deep into a squat and bringing back up this is really just about getting stretched out and getting loose a lightweight kettlebell clean and jerk helps build just a little bit of power and stability. Uh, a few reps each arm, but the key is just to keep it light and easy. Single leg kettlebell deadlifts are also a great way to work on your balance and stability to get you ready for the trail with the backpack on so you're not swinging all over the place with that extra weight on you. Ball slams is a great movement to help you build a little bit of power, but also just to keep you loose throughout and get your heart rate going. The most important thing you can do before any trip is make sure you are properly stretched out and nice and flexible. More than any weight training you can do, this is going to benefit you the most. So if you have a little bit of time, just make sure you're stretched before the trail. These are the stretches that I typically are going to gauge in before and after my workout to make sure that my glutes are properly stretched, my hamstrings are nice and loose, I have good calf mobility, and that my lower back is feeling great and ready for the trip. Also make sure to hit your groin so that you don't get it pulled, and that all of your muscles feel nice and relaxed so that when you hit the trail, you can avoid injury and just keep your body feeling fresh and loose throughout the trip. Remember to stretch just before you hit the trail as you start your trip. Also, anytime you get a chance, it's not a bad idea to stop and just stretch out your muscles. In the morning, you may wake up feeling sore, but the worst thing you can do is not wake up and try to get your muscles loose the next day and work your way through the pain just trying to get everything loose before you start hiking again. You're going to thank yourself later whenever you don't have that same soreness and stiffness in the afternoon or in the evening and you can wake up feeling refreshed the next day. I hope this helps just as a starter guide, uh, a few quick ideas of maybe some ways to prepare for the trip, but by all means, make it your own. The important thing is just to get a little bit of work in and to make sure you're properly stretched so that you can have the best trip possible and not be worrying about being sore the next day, but instead just keeping your head up and your eyes on the trail. Hey guys, if you like the video you just saw, please subscribe, click the bell so you can get alerted for any new videos that I may do. And check the links below for any information I described in the video. I'll try to put as much there as possible. Thanks for watching.